Hello again. Today we are cleaning the electronic throttle body on a 2006 Range Rover Sport. The throttle body is located on the air intake manifold and is controlled by the accelerator pedal position. When the accelerator is pushed, the throttle body opens allowing more air into the engine. Because the throttle body is integral to the engine speed, a dirty throttle body may cause a rough idle or acceleration lag. Luckily, cleaning the throttle body takes about 5 minutes and only costs about $5. The only tool you'll need is a flathead screwdriver and throttle body cleaner. All right, now let's get started. First, open the hood and locate the throttle body. Once located, you'll notice a air tube adjacent to the throttle body. I believe this is called the full load tube, but you can just pinch the sides and remove it. Next, you'll have to remove the wiring harness and that's connected directly to the throttle body. Once that's removed, you'll just have to remove two hose clamps and you can use your flathead screwdriver to loosen the clamps. And once they're both loosened, you can take the hose off. Now you can see the throttle plate clearly and this is what we will be cleaning. If you want to remove the throttle body all the way, you'll have to remove two coolant lines and these four bolts. The four bolts are tightened to seven foot-pounds. The coolant lines are to prevent the throttle body from freezing closed in cold weather. What you'll have to do if the throttle body is still attached is open the throttle body with your hands and once you do this you can see the back side of the throttle body. The back side of the throttle body is where most of the debris will be and any black residue is likely carbon buildup and should be cleaned off with the throttle body cleaner. So grab the throttle body cleaner and spray a good amount onto a rag. It evaporates pretty quickly so you'll have to be somewhat quick with this. And get in there and start cleaning the throttle body. The issue is the front part that you can see right here is usually pretty clean. So what you really need to do is clean the back side of the throttle plate. To do this you'll have to take your other hand and open up the throttle plate. And while it's open you can start cleaning around the sides right behind where the throttle plate rests. Also you can hold it open with one hand and clean the back side of the plate as well but make sure that you're cleaning the edges. The edges are where the throttle plate's actually interfacing with the walls and where the air seal is made and so it's very important to clean the edges of the throttle plate and the walls to which it connects. Once you're done, you can inspect your work. Looks like the back side of the throttle plate is a lot cleaner on inspection. There might be a few spots here and there on the sides where it articulates, so I'll get back in there and clean these off as well. Once you're all done, you can grab your air hose, and I like to put some silicone lubricant on the sides just for cleaning purposes, but also to make it easier to take off in the future. Once that's complete, you can retighten the hose clamps using your flathead. Again, I usually try to use silicone lubricant on electrical harnesses just to make them easier to disconnect the next time. Silicone lubricant is dielectric and shouldn't interfere with the wiring harness. Also, don't forget to clean off and reconnect this full load airline and once you do that everything should be back together and you're good to go. If you have any questions please leave a comment. I make Range Rover Sport and LR3 repair videos as issues pop up on my own car so don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any simple fixes that can hopefully save you thousands of dollars overtaking it to the dealer. Thank you and have a good one.